Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick and today I'm building another house in The Sims 4. And this one is a really, really quick, small craftsman family home. It has two bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms. I wanted it to have a very simple contemporary floor plan that was really functional and gave you a lot of space to expand if you wanted to. It's on a 20 by 15 lot. It costs $47,482. So my vision for it was that it would be a house that you could move into after you've worked a little bit in the game. You might have a kid or maybe you have like a partner or a roommate or something. But I figured it would be just a nice house to have in the neighborhood. I love it. I love it so much, actually. I used, I think, a lot of horse ranch on the outside, which is great. That pack is, it has just some amazing colors. This house, oh my god, I forgot to tell you. I made a short and a TikTok about it because it was taking me a little bit to get the interior right. I didn't know the color palette that I wanted to go for. I thought I was going to continue with the super dark exterior on the inside and make it a little bit more, it ended up looking Tudor themed, and I wasn't really enjoying it. So I just started over and it turned out to be really contemporary and nice. It has a lot of function squeezed into it, but I really enjoy it, and I think you will too. I love the exterior landscaping that I did. It's really natural, a little on the sparse side, and there's not a lot of outdoor living items. There's just like a chair, so you can't really do too much, but there's a lot of room to like, I don't know, have a dog or like something run around. I think it looks really nice and there's no fence so you don't have that much privacy but you have an amazing view of the river so i wanted to keep it kind of open especially when the neighbors have more privacy i thought this one could kind of go without but i'm almost done building in willow creek i think i have a lot of the lots occupied already. I don't know when I'll finish it or if I'll make everything like community lots as well. We'll see. It could be cool to make buildings with like apartments above it because of the new pack coming out. Uh, I think it was called For Rent. Not sure all of the intricacies of it, but I know you'll be able to have multiple families on the same lot if that is a rumor that actually comes true, which I hope so, because then I would have a lot of fun building my own apartment buildings and townhouses, duplexes, so many different options open up, and I think that would be great. We're already on the inside, and I started off making it very uh bright and lived in like there's a lot of art on the walls and details and i really enjoy it i think for a smaller space that really helps make it look a bit more lived in in all the right ways the kitchen is really small i love the new dishwasher that takes up a little bit less space because that was able to, I think, free up some visual clutter in the kitchen. And I added a towel rack instead of the paper towel roll, which I put on the dining room table, which I don't think I've done before. This is the guest bedroom. I thought it could go for like a teenager if the family has a teenager or it could be like the roommate's room. It's just the secondary bedroom. Because I think the upstairs one would be the primary. It has the full bathroom, 
next to it. They're not connected within the doors of the primary bedroom, but it's just right outside. So I think that it works. I also think you could definitely make the upstairs have two smaller bedrooms and make the one on the first floor the primary if you wanted to squeeze a little bit more family members in the house. Anyways, if you want to download this house, the link to it is in the description. You can find it on the gallery at my user ID, Nick Last Game, and the tray files will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment telling me something that I should build, because I can always use some inspiration. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Here are some screenshots of the build. <laughs> Bye!